Hello everyone, this is Hanan. Welcome to Conflict News. Viewers, let's start from a statement of Commander-in-Chief of Ukrainian Army, Zelushny. He said that it's time to take back what is ours. What does it mean? It means Ukraine is preparing to attack on Russia. They are preparing for counter -fence. whereas. Uh, the Western part, special, uh, especially U.S. and U.K., already mentioned, uh, and uh, they're pressurizing Ukraine to attack back uh, on Russia, and uh, they don't want to uh, Ukraine to leave this war until uh, they uh, they got a control back on their areas, and uh, if uh, even Ukraine want to continue this war as much as they want but they need to uh, take back their areas that's what western powers want uh, except this ukrainian uh, intelligence says it gained valuable information from belgorod incursion the ukrainian military intelligence said on 27th may today that it gained valuable information from Belgorod Oblast incursion, which was uh, carried out by Russian anti-government militia fighting alongside Ukraine. First, this is a quite tricky uh, time frame right now because Ukraine uh, is preparing for a counteroffense and they got some valuable information as per their intelligence and even uh, uh, they are quite motivated uh, as per the statement we can see from uh, the commander-in-chief of Ukrainian army. Except this as per the local authorities, Ukraine attack on Russian military positions in occupied Berdyansk result uh, in casualties. Ukraine launched an attack on Russian military positions in the occupied Berdyansk, Zebrushia, uh, oblast uh, and, uh, and they are claiming that many Russian soldiers were killed in this strike. Uh, viewers, uh, uh, armed forces of Ukraine are conducting a massive shelling of settlements uh, uh, of the Shebekinsi district in Belgorod region and the checkpoint power lines and two large enterprises were hit among among other things uh, whereas a large uh, fire broke out at one of the arrival point as well uh, emergency and emergency services continue to operate in that area according to the latest reports one man died and three others are injured including two teenagers uh, of yours uh, and uh, except this about the Bakhmut uh, Wagner group now regrouping in three locations uh, uh, after partial withdrawal from Bakhmut National Security and Defense Council's uh, secretary said that in an interview which is released two days, uh, 27th May 2023 that Russia's Wagner uh, mercenaries are regrouping to another three locations. After that, what uh, he called was their partial withdrawal from Bakhmut. Still, uh, it will be interesting to see whether they will uh, go for a withdrawal from Bakhmut for fully or uh, they just continue to this, stick to this partial withdrawal. Uh, on the another side, viewers, uh, Russia believed that West, key, West is uh, trying hard and they are uh, increasing their support day by day to Ukraine in all terms, in military support and a financial aid, in all terms, they are increasing their support day by day, which means they don't want Ukraine to step back to or to end this war as soon as possible they don't want to this uh, this mentioned even peskov uh, uh, in his interview mentioned this that uh, we are feeling that uh, western powers are uh, uh, are increasing their efforts for ukraine day by day
Uh, whereas uh, uh, on, on the another side, Ukraine uh, believes and Ukrainian intelligence are claiming that Russia started, they are doing false flag operation with chemical weapons in Zaporizhia Oblast. The Ukrainian military intelligence today reported on 27th May, viewers, that uh, Russian forces had begun a false flag operation involving chemical weapons in occupied territories of Zaporizhia Oblast in what it uh, said uh, was an attempt to disrupt counteroffensive. Uh, it means somehow Ukraine is really uh, planning for uh, counteroffensive. Uh, the intelligence also stated that Russian soldiers would be the real victims of Moscow's provocation and it intelligence accused Moscow, uh, Moscow for planning to frame Ukraine as the guilty party by using traces of chemical weapons on Russian soldier bodies as a fake evidence. That's what Russia is planning and as per the Ukraine. Whereas uh, Russia again uh, said that Turkey's arms supplies to Ukraine contradict to Ankara's ceasefire intentions. Uh, on the other side, uh, 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 Turkey talk about the ceasefire, whereas they are also supplying uh, uh, arms to Ukraine. Uh, as per the sources, Turkey has handed over Baghdad TB2 attack drones to uh, uh, to Ukraine, and uh, this will really uh, going to disturb the uh, negotiation uh, negotiations. Uh, and uh, because now Russia really believed that uh, Turkey is uh, not serious uh, in a ceasefire intentions. Uh, that was the news. Uh, do let me know in the comment section, viewers, what do you think, especially about the uh, statement of commander in chief of Ukrainian army? Will be Ukraine able to take back its areas or uh, it will again struggle and Russia will keep, uh, keep their hold on these areas? Do let me know in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you.